this is Shravanti, working as assistant professor, Department of Chemistry in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about problems on temporary, permanent and total hardness in terms of calcium carbonate equivalent by using EDTA method. So previous classes already we discussed uh, what is EDTA method, how can we calculate, how can we estimate, estimate it, hardness of water by using EDTA. So procedure we discussed previous class clearly. Now we'll discuss uh, numericals based on this EDTA method. How can we estimate it? Uh, temporary hardness, permanent hardness and total hardness by using this EDTA method. So first one is calculate the permanent hardness from the following 500 ml of a water sample is boiled for 1 hour. So it is then cooled and filtered. So the filtrate is made up to 500 ml again with distilled water. So what does it mean? Calculate the permanent hardness. So what is the permanent hardness causing salts uh, present in water? Calcium, magnesium ions of sulfates, chlorides, nitrates present in water. So here we can calculate the permanent hardness from the following 500 ml of a water sample. So water volume is 500 ml sample is boiled for one hour. What purpose we are doing this boiling? Because we can remove temporary hardness causing gas which are present in water. So generally what is a temporary hardness causing gas present in water? Calcium, magnesium, bicarbonates. Calcium, magnesium ions of bicarbonates present in water. So it can be removed by boiling. So this uh, in this case we, are, we can calculate the permanent hardness of water uh, in what is the volume of water here given 500 ml. So this uh, in this case we can remove temporary hardness in this water. So that purpose we are doing boiling this uh, water for one hour. So it is then cool and filter. So the filtrate is made up 500 ml again with distilled water. So after heating, we can remove temporary hardness uh, causing us which are present in water. Next, this water is cool and filter. Next, we will make up 500 ml by using distilled water. So total volume of this water is 500 ml. So 50 ml of this solution requires 50 ml of this solution requires 10 ml of N by 50 EDTA. So above we prepare 500 ml of this water sample by using distilled water. So that water sample we have to take only 50 ml. Prepared water sample we have to take only 50 ml. And titration by using EDTA. So in this purpose it requires 10 ml of N by 50 EDTA with EBT indicator. So already we know that estimation of hardness by EDTA method. In this case we are using EBT indicator. So when we are using this indicator, mainly we are what purpose we are using the CBT, aerochrome black tea indicator to find out the end point, to find out the end point. So when we are adding this EBT indicator, the color of the solution is wine red. So when titrate against EDTA from the burette or titrate against EDTA, then color changes to wine red to blue. So in this EDTA method, we are using aerochrome black tea indicator for identification of end point to determine the end point. So here 50 ml of this uh, prepared solution it requires 10 ml of N by 50 EDTA with EBT indicator. And in this process, so already we know that uh, we are using buffer solution also. Uh, so here we are using buffer is ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide buffer. So in a hard water sample, generally we are using 2 to 3 drops of EBT indicator and 5 ml of buffer solution. So generally what purpose we are using buffer to maintain stable pH. So to maintain stable pH means, uh, means in this process we are maintaining pH ranges 8 to 10. pH ranges 8 to 10. So because at this pH range only EDTA forms complex with hardness causing gas which are present in water. So in this process we are using EBT indicator and buffer solution we are added in this water. So now we can calculate the permanent hardness of given water sample. So how can we solve this one? 
given 50 ml of water sample after boiling filtering it requires that means we can remove temporary hotness from this water by boiling after that filtered then make up that solution 500 ml given the data already by using distilled water so in the prepared sample we have to prep it out only 50 ml or are taking 50 ml that prepared sample water after removing temporary hardness causing as which are present in water and next titration purpose it requires 10 ml of n by 50 edta so given 50 ml of water sample after boiling filtering it requires how much ml of edta 10 ml of edta 10 by 10 ml of n by 50 EDTA. So we know that here one ml of N N by fifty EDTA is equal to uh, one milligram of calcium carbonate equivalent hardness. So ten ml of N by fifty EDTA is equal ten milligrams of calcium carbonate. So in the same way, fifty ml of boiled water sample requires fifty ml of boiled water sample requires its equal. 10 ml n by 50 edta so already we know that here clearly given in the data 50 ml of this solution requires 10 ml of n by 50 edta so here 50 ml of boiled water sample requires 10 by uh, 10 ml of n by 50 edta so that means here it's equal 10 mg of calcium carbonate because 10 by m 10 ml of n by 50 edta equal 10 mg of calcium carbonate so therefore 1000 ml of water sample 1000 ml of water sample it's equal 10 into 1000 by 50 so here it's equal 200 mg per liter or 200 ppm so permanent hardness of given water sample is 200 ppm so next one is 100 ml of sample of water required 15 ml of 0.01 m edta 100 ml of water sample it required 15 ml of edta for titration so using ereochrome black tea indicator so already we know that uh, in edta procedure edta method uh, edta mainly used for determination of hardness or estimation of hardness by using edta method it is also called as complexometric method so in this method given water sample we have to take conical plus generally and we are adding ebt indicator for the, uh, determine the end point so here we are using indicator is ereochrome black tea indicator and also we are using buffer the buffer uh, is ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide buffer because to maintain stable ph range that is 8 to 10 eight to 10 because at this ph range only edta forms complex with hardness causing ions so here 100 ml of water sample required 15 ml of edta so in this case we are using ereochrome black tea as a indicator in another experiment 100 ml of the same sample was boiled to remove bicarbonates what purpose we are doing this boiling we can remove bicarbonates which are present in water So in the next experiment, hundred ml of the same sample was boiled to remove bicarbonates. Here, C H means bicarbonates. So the precipitate was removed, and the cold solution required eight ml of zero point zero one m edta. So generally, in the first case, it's taking hundred ml of water sample. Uh, so in this case, total hardness we can find out it required fifteen ml of edta. and also we are using here indicator is ebt indicator and in the same way second step we are uh, taking same water sample 100 ml but we are doing boiling for what purpose to remove temporary hardness causing salts so temporary hardness causing salts means calcium magnesium bicarbonates starting these are soluble in water so after boiling uh the soluble calcium magnesium bicarbonates converted into insoluble precipitates so this precipitates are we can remove by filtration so next we can cool that solution it required how much ml of edta in second case 8 ml of edta 
and what is the molarity of EDTA? 0.01 m EDTA using and here also we are using aerochrome black T indicator. So calculate the total hardness, permanent hardness, total permanent hardness and carbonate hardness that means temporary hardness and in terms of uh, cal calcium carbonate equivalent in milligrams per liter or milligram per liter of calcium carbonate. So here the solution is we know that already 1 ml of 1 m EDTA it is equal 1000 milligrams of calcium bicarbonate. So here 1 ml of 0.01 m EDTA it is equal 1 milligram of calcium carbonate. 1 milligram of calcium carbonate. So total hardness that means uh, it is present a temporary hardness causing salts and permanent hardness causing salts like uh, calcium, magnesium, bicarbonates, chloride, sulfates, etc. present in water. So total hardness, the, how can we find out total hardness? 100 ml of sample of water required in the data, 100 ml of sample water required, 15 ml of 0.01 m EDTA. So in that 100 ml of water sample, water sample volume is 100 ml and it is required uh, uh, EDTA is 15 ml and its molarity is 0.01 m. So it is equal, we can convert it into calcium carbonate equivalent because uh, all the hardness causing salts we can convert it into CaCO3 equivalent uh, because it is highly insoluble in water and its molecular weight is 100, equivalent weight is 50. So it makes calculation is very easy. So that is why all the hardness causing salts which are present in water all are converted into calcium carbonate equivalent. So it is equal 15 into 1 milligram it is equal 15 milligrams of calcium carbonate. So 1000 ml of sample water required 15 milligrams of calcium carbonate. So therefore 1000 ml of sample water is equivalent to 1000 ml of sample of water is equivalent to 15 into 1000 by 100 milligrams of calcium carbonate. So it is equal 150 milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent. So total hardness equal to, so total hardness equal 150 milligrams per liter or ppm. Mathematically already we know that 1 milligram per liter equals 1 ppm. So here 1000 ml of sample water is equivalent to 150 milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent. So in this total hardness of given water is 150 milligrams per liter or 150 ppm. Next we can calculate the permanent hardness of given water sample. So here 100 ml of the same water sample after boiling filtering that means we can remove temporary hardness causing salts like calcium, magnesium, bicarbonates which are present in water. So it consumes 100 ml of uh, same water sample after completing boiling and filtering. So this water consumes 8 ml of uh, 0.01 m EDTA. So volume of water sample is 100 and EDTA molarity is uh, 0.01 and its required EDTA volume is 8 ml. So it is equal 18 to 1 milligram per uh, 1 milligram of calcium carbonate. So it is equal 100 ml of same water sample it required 8 milligrams of calcium carbonate. So therefore 1000 ml of sample of water is equal to 8 into 1000 by 100 milligrams. So it is equal 80 milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent. So permanent hardness of the water sample equal 80 ppm. Permanent hardness of given water sample is equal 80 ppm. So next temporary hardness. Temporary hardness means how we cannot consider permanent hardness. So how can we calculate the temporary hardness present in water? So temporary hardness uh, causing the answer generally calcium, magnesium, bicarbonate. So here temporary hardness equal total hardness minus permanent hardness. So total hardness of given water is just now we calculated already. That is the total hardness of given water is 150 minus permanent hard, uh, hardness of uh, given water is 80 ppm. So temporary hardness equal 150 minus 80 equal 
seventy ppm. So say temporary hardness of given water is seventy ppm or seventy milligram per liter. So in this way we can calculate the total permanent temporary hardness of given water sample. This is another method. So in this water, the total hardness of given water is one fifty. And permanent hardness of given water is eighty, and temporary hardness of given water is seventy ppm or seventy milligram per liter. So no problem. We'll discuss uh, based on that EDT only. So hundred ml of sample of water required. Twenty five ml of zero point zero one m EDTA for the titration using aerochrome black tea indicator. Using aerochrome black tea indicator, so calculate the total hardness present in water. So here water quantity and volume of water sample is hundred ml, and its required EDTA volume is twenty five ml given in the data, and molarity of EDTA is zero point zero one m EDTA. And in this purpose, uh, we are using indicator is aerochrome black tea. Already we know that. We discussed in procedure of EDTA method. Now we can calculate the total hardness of given water sample. So solution is we know that one ml of zero point zero one m EDTA is equal one milligram of calcium carbonate. So twenty five ml of zero point zero one m EDTA requires twenty five milligrams of calcium carbonate. So here hundred ml of sample water required twenty five ml of 0.01 m EDTA. It's equal 25 milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent. So we can calculate another way also. M1 V1 equal to M2 V2 formula we are using. In that case also we will discuss already previous uh, uh, classes. Uh, how can we calculate it by using EDTA method? That formula is M1 V1 equal M2 V2 and M2 V2 equal M three V three. In that case, also we can calculate the total permanent temporary hardness of water. So we'll discuss previous classes already. Based on that, uh, we are using this formulas uh, by using EDTA method. So this is another method. How can we calculate the total temporary and permanent hardness of given water sample? So here one ml of EDTA. Its molarity is zero point zero one. It's required one milligram of calcium carbonate. One milligram of Calcium carbonate. So 25 ml of 0.01 m EDTA is required. 25 milligrams of calcium carbonate. So 100 ml of say sample of water required. 100 ml of sample of water required. 25 ml of 0.01 m EDTA. 25 ml of 0.01 EDTA. So it's a hundred ml of sample of water required. How many milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent? Same twenty five milligrams of calcium carbonate equivalent. So therefore, thousand ml of water sample is equal to twenty five into thousand by hundred milligrams of CaCO three equivalent. So it's equal two fifty milligrams per liter, or two fifty. ppm so total hardness of given water sample is 250 mg per liter or 250 parts per million 250 ppm so one more problem based on that edta only uh, so 50 ml of standard hard water containing 1 g of pure caco3 that means calcium carbonate per liter So it's consumed twenty ml of EDTA. It's consumed twenty ml of EDTA. So fifty ml of hot water consumed twenty five ml of same EDTA solution by using EBT indicator. So calculate the total hardness of water sample in ppm. So here fifty ml of standard hot water volume of water sample is fifty ml. So its required calcium carbonate is one gram. Generally, we can prepare zero point zero one m uh, hot water preparation purpose. We are using one gram of calcium carbonate and few drops of HCl dissolved in thousand ml of water sample distilled water. So this uh, water sample molarity is zero point zero one. 
but here 50 ml of standi- standard water. So water sample volume is 50 ml. So its required uh, weight of calcium carbonate is 1 gram per liter. So generally per liter it's required 1 gram. I had consumed EDTA is 20 ml of EDTA. So 50 ml of hot water consumed 25 ml of same EDTA solution. Here we are using indicator is EBT, aerochrome black tea indicator. So now calculate the total hardness of water sample in ppm. So what is the solution here? Strength of standard hard water sample. Strength of standard hard water sample. So that means calcium carbonate solution. So here uh, strength of hard water sample, how can we calculate this one? Weight of calcium carbonate by molecular weight of calcium carbonate into 1000. Or the weight of hardness column salt by molecular weight of hardness column salt into 100. So here weight of uh, calcium carbonate is 1 gram and molecular weight of calcium carbonate is 100. Uh, total makeup solution 1000 by 1000 it's equal 0.01 m molarity. So weight of uh, that means the molarity of standard water sample is 0.01 m. So next strength of EDTA. How can we calculate the strength of EDTA? So by using formula is here M1 V1 equals M2 V2. So M1 V1 generally related to hard water and M2 V2 related to EDTA. So here M1, so already we know that here M1 is the strength of standard hard water. M1 is strength of standard hard water or molarity of given hot water. So just now we calculated that one 0.01. So M1 equal 0.01 M. And next V1. V1 is the volume of standard hot water. So what is the volume of standard hot water? 50 ml. So V1 equal 50 ml. So next M2. M2 is the molarity of EDTA or strength of EDTA. So here we don't know the M2 value. We have to find out by using this formula. So put the question mark here. M2 equal, we have to find out that one. And next V2 is the volume of EDTA. So volume of EDTA. So it's required how much ml of EDTA? 20 ml. So V2 is 20 ml. So now we can substitute here. Uh, we can calculate the M2 value. So what is the formula here? M2 equal m1 v1 by v2 m1 v1 by v2 here given here m1 v1 by v2 so here m2 value is the uh, we have to find out so we can calculate this one and v1 v1 means volume of uh, hot water its value is 50 so here we can substitute in this formula and m1 is the molarity of standard hot water so value is 0.01 and V2 is the volume of EDTA solution that is 20 ml. So we can substitute it in this formula. We will get after calculation uh, the strength of EDTA solution is 0.025. That means molarity of EDTA is 0.025. Now we can calculate the total hardness. So how can we calculate the total hardness? So here we can calculate the molarity of EDTA. So next we can calculate the total hardness. So here we are using formula is M2 V2 equal M3 V3. M2 V2 related to EDTA or just now we calculated. So M3 V3 is uh, total hard, wa- hard water. Total hard water. So here we can calculate the M3 value. M3 means molarity of given water sample molarity of given water sample and here m2 is the molarity of edta just now we calculated that is 0.025 m 0.025 m and v2 is the volume of edta volume of edta in second case we know that here 25 ml of edta required so here it's, we can write here 25. So V2 is the 25 ml. And M3 we have to find out. So put the question mark. And V3 is the 
volume of hot water so that value is 50 ml given in the data so we can substitute all the values in this formula that means m2 v2 equal m3 v3 here we can find out the m3 value so what is the formula m3 equals m2 v2 by v3 or v2 m2 by v3 so here v2 volume of edta is 25 and M2, molarity of PET, just now we calculated in that step 1, that value is 0 0.025 and by volume of uh, hot water sample is 50 ml. So, after calculation, we will get 0 0.0125 molarity. This is the uh, total hardness, uh, molarity of total hardness of the water. Now, we can calculate the total hardness of given water. This is the molarity of given hot water sample. Now we can calculate the molar, uh, total hardness of given water sample. So what is the formula total hardness equal? Total hardness equal M3 into 100 into 1000. So here M3 is the, just now we calculated molarity of given water sample is 0 0.0125. In first step we can calculate the molarity of EDTA. So, by using that molarity of PETA, we can calculate the in step 2 molarity of given water sample. Next, we can calculate the total hardness. So, total hardness equal M3 into 100 into 1000. So, M3 value is 0 0.0125. Molarity of given water sample is 0 0.0125 and into 100. 100 is the molecular weight of calcium carbonate. Why are you converting all? All the hardness causing salt in CaCO3 equivalent because it makes calculation is very easy because water containing different different types of hardness causing ions. So when we convert it into CaCO3 equivalent, it makes calculation is very easy. But why are prepared only calcium carbonate because it is highly insoluble in water and its molecular weight and equivalent weight is 150. So, it makes calculation is very easy. That means water analysis, is, uh, it is simplified. So, that's why we are taking 100 calcium carbonate molecular weight is 100 and into 1000. 1000 means total makeup solution is 1 liter, 1000 ml. So, after calculation, we will get 1250 ppm. So, total hardness of given water is 1250 ppm or 1250 milligram per liter 1250 milligram per liter so in this way we can calculate the total temporary and permanent hardness of water by using EDTA method this is another method in first two slides we discuss uh, we are calculating total permanent temporary but that is another way and this one is based on that EDTA method procedure only in that last slide we are following so in this session we will learn about uh, how can we calculate the total hardness permanent hardness, temporary hardness of uh, water and how can we convert it into calcium carbonate equivalent by we are converting this calcium carbonate equivalent by using EDTA method. So I hope understood all. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.